Welcome to this presentation on GCSE Physical Education. The teachers of GCSE PE include Mr. Bayliss, who is in charge of the course, and Mrs. Padley, and Mrs. Frape, and Mr. Sperry. It is likely with year nine going into 10 next year that it will be Mrs. Frape and Mr. Sperry being the main two teachers. Within GCSE PE, you will have five lessons per fortnight. Four of these will be theory and will be based in a classroom and one of them practical. In our practical lessons, we will cover badminton, handball, basketball, netball, football, hockey, athletics and tennis. We always have two teachers on for each practical lesson, meaning we can offer more than one option each lesson. In our theory lessons, we'll study physical activity. This is how your body reacts to exercise. Uh, we'll be performing lots of fitness tests and learning how to train effectively. We'll look at the psychology, which is how you prepare mentally for different sports and also socio-cultural in influences, which includes why we participate in sport, the media and the impact of technology in sport. We are assessed in GCSE PE in a number of ways. Uh, the first paper is based on the human body and movement in physical activity. It's one hour, 15 minutes, and it's worth 30% of the qualification. Paper two focuses on the socio-cultural influences and well-being in physical activity in sport. Again, this is one hour, 15 minutes, and it's worth 30%. The non-exam assessment, or NEA, is the practical element of the course. So your son or daughter would get to choose three sports. Those can be either one individual and two team sports or two team sports and one individual sport. I'll show you a slide that goes over the options for those later in this presentation. Also, as part of the NEA, students must analyze and evaluate a performance in one activity. And that makes up the coursework element. And that is theoretical and it involves observing a performance of a peer and analysing how they can improve that performance. Overall, the NEA is worth 40%. So in total, theory 60% made up of the two exam papers, then the NEA worth 40%. These are the different sports that your son or daughter could choose for GCSE PE that I mentioned earlier. These have been updated this year just to include um, a few new options. As I explained, um, you must choose either two team sports and one individual or two individual and one team sports. So what you couldn't do is choose basketball, football and cricket. You'd have to choose something like basketball, football and swimming so that you've got a combination across the two categories. Some things to note, um, futsal has been added this year. However, you cannot be assessed with football um, together. You cannot also um, assess together rugby union and rugby league. You cannot do both skiing and snowboarding. And also another popular question involves um, cycling. That needs to be done on the track or road or BMX racing. It cannot be BMX tricks. You cannot also do um, mountain biking. There are some sports that fall into both categories. So you, you might notice, for example, that badminton is both a team and an individual sport. So uh, if you were to take it as a team sport, that means you play doubles. If you were to take it as an individual sport, then you would take it as singles. We have very high expectations in GCSE PE and we are a very high achieving department within the school. Um, in order to achieve this, we have extremely important standards that we expect students to uphold. These expectations include showing commitment um, in every theory and practical PE lesson and always doing your best, completing all classwork and homework on time and to the best of your ability. We also uh, like our students to play their three chosen sports at a school and club level or higher if possible. The careers available um, if you choose GCSE PE include being a professional sports coach, a physiotherapist, 
managing leisure facilities, becoming a sports psychologist or a PE teacher. If your son or daughter chooses the course, they um, have the option to purchase some of the uh, GCSE PE kit. This includes a polo top, a hoodie. These can also be bought as a bundle, as you can see on the screen. Some frequently asked questions. How practically based is the course? It's important to stress that it is quite a theoretically based course. It's 60% theory, 40% practical. Although, as I mentioned before, within that practical element, uh, a fair proportion of that 40%, 10%, is made up of the GCSE P coursework, which is studying a peer and writing that up. So that has theoretical aspects to it. And remember, we spend four out of five lessons in the classroom studying theoretical PE. Can my child take PE if they do not do three sports? This depends. As the course goes, we will teach additional practical sports that they might not have covered in core PE previously, like handball, badminton, athletics, meaning that if they started the course with two strong sports, they could add one over the two years. However, in our experience, it is much more likely students will perform well if they play their three sports to school and or club level or higher. How are students assessed practically? Some sports are assessed internally and during GCSE fixtures. However, the off-site sports, which are any sports that we cannot do on-site at school, such as golf, cycling, swimming, etc., need to be filmed by students themselves outside of school. Teachers then assess those internally um, based on the video provided by the student. What sports can I do? As I mentioned before, the list that I showed you on the earlier slide are the only sports that you can do. You are not allowed to do any sports that are not listed on that slide. And please note the restrictions I mentioned earlier. For example, you can't do rugby union or league. You can't do football and futsal. You can't do skiing and snowboarding. Um, skiing and snowboarding must be assessed on snow. It cannot be done uh, indoors unless it is on snow, but it cannot be done on an artificial slope. Cycling is on a track road or can be BMX racing, not tricks. And if you have any further questions, please do get in touch. Email either Mr. Bayliss at the email address shown or myself, Mr. Sperry, at the email address shown. Thank you for listening.